Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another lesson. Today I'm going to show you how to play this beautiful Spanish chord progression in B minor. Now we're going to combine a lot of different techniques. We're going to strum the strings like this. With this technique called rasgueado. And then we're also going to use the finger picking technique to play the chords and the melody. But we're also going to use the thumb to play the melody as well. So So we are really going to combine a lot of different techniques uh, which are going to diversify the way we play each single section. We're going to be playing some bar chords, so I hope you're fine with that. But I do have a lot of easy uh, Spanish chord progressions. I'm going to leave all the um, info in the description down below. So I like to consider the first section to be an intro. We're going to strum the chords like this. So the first chord is the B minor. We're playing it like this, a bar chord on the fret number seven and then fret number nine on the D and the A string. Um, for the A major, uh, we're gonna play the same shape, just two frets back from fret five, uh, fret seven, seven, and we add the G string fret number six. Same thing with the G major, just slide two frets back, it's the same chord shape. And the same thing for the F sharp major, just slide one fret back. So the chord progression um, is pretty easy. If you are okay with bar chords, we only have two shapes, the minor shape and the major shape. Now I like to strum these chords uh, with this technical rasgueado. So I'm basically strumming uh, starting with the ring finger and then the middle and then the index. And it's done like this. I'm just gonna do it slowly. So you kind of hear uh, three strums. It could be done with just one finger. Uh, then you can add the middle finger. So you're going to do middle index. And then you're going to add the ring finger. Guys, it's really important. You don't want to strum um, with each finger individually like this. It's not these type of movement. But you want them to just flow together. Like this. Then we're gonna play the melody in octaves. So I'm just playing uh, the note B on fret two and four. And then the F sharp on fret two and four, this time on the sixth and fourth string. And then I go back. So. I'm only plucking with thumb and index. I don't really care about uh, alternating here with the right hand. And then I play the A major like this, the A string open and the G string fret number two. And then we have. Um, so I'm playing the low E string with the thumb, fret number two, and then the fret number three simultaneously with the octave, we're playing the note G, so we're playing the fret three on the low E string and the D string fret number five. Low E string open, back to the G major chord, and we finish with the F sharp, which is on fret two and four. So. Make sure that you play these chords and this melody with energy. I know that this is an intro, but you want it to have a little bit of fire. Now in this second section, we're going to play the melody. So the chord progression will uh, be the same. We're going to start with the B minor. Uh, this time we're only going to play the fret two, the fret number four, and the fret number three. 
on the 5th, 3rd and 2nd string. We're only picking 3 strings, we're going to start with thumb and middle on 5 and 2, and then the 3rd string. And then we're going to repeat the arpeggio without the thumb. And then I have the melody. So I have the B string open along with the bass, fret number 2, 3, 2, E string open, fret number 3, 2, and open. It's a nice beautiful melody. You want to make sure that you hold the bass note down, that's the reason why I'm holding the finger and play the melody with the finger 2 and 3. Then we have the A major chord. I'm going to follow the same structure. I just put down the A major chord on fret 2 and 2 and we just pick the strings in the same way. 2, 3, 4. And then the melody uh, on the G string fret number 2. B string open, fret number 2, open, 3, 2, open, and the G string for number 2. The next chord is the G major. And then we have the melody, which is going to be played with the low E string open. So we're playing an E minor chord, and we do that just to uh, make the melody easier to play. So the G string open, fret number 2, B string open, fret number 2 on the G string. And then the B string fret number 2, open, G string fret number 2, and the G string open. Now if we had to play uh, this melody with the G on the bass, uh, it would have been way more difficult, so we kind of, you know, uh, changed the chord and play the E minor. And we finish with the F sharp major, which is going to be obviously the most challenging chord. Um, you know, we're just playing three strings and just like the B minor chord, but one set of strings up. So we're playing the low E string fret 2, the D string fret number 4, and the G string fret number 3. The arpeggio is the same, thumb and middle, and then the index. And then we strum this chord, so you want to put down the full thing, so bar chord on fret number 2, and then 4, 4, and 3. It's the F sharp major chord. You can use the rasgiato if you're familiar with the technique, or just one strum, either with the index or with the thumb. So we already have two beautiful sections. Now we're going to add one more. We're going to combine the finger style, the strumming, and the melody played with the thumb. So the first chord. So we're going to play just half of the arpeggio and then we're going to strum the B minor chord. Um, you want to put down the bar chord on the fret number 2 and then 4, 4 and 2 on the D, G, uh, D and G string and then the B string fret number 3. It's just a B minor um, chord shape and we're going to strum it with the rasgiato or with the thumb or with the index. Now the melody entirely played with the thumb. So the A string fret number 2, 4, 5, 4, and then the D string fret number um, 2, and then 5 on the A string, 4, and back to number 2. Now the second chord, A major, you want to put down the whole thing. Same thing, half arpeggio and then the strum, the melody. is entirely played on the A string, open, 2, 4, 2, 5, 4, 2, and open. I like to use all the fingers here, uh, don't play this melody with one finger guys. It, it doesn't, doesn't make you look good, okay? next chord is the G major 
and super simple um, we strum we're just gonna do half arpeggio then just put down the G major chord and just strum the strings and the melody goes like this so we start with low E string for number three A string open two open four two open and we finish with the low E string for number three and the last chord We're going to arpeggiate the F sharp major chord so you can put down the whole thing. Six, four, three, four, two, four, three, four, and the strum. When you put the whole thing together, And we can finish with the same intro. And then we play the last chord, the B minor. It's a beautiful Spanish chord progression, a lot of different musical elements. We got the strumming, we got the melody, we got the finger style technique, we got the chords. There is a lot going on. Take it step by step and also check the easy uh, Spanish chord progressions and melodies that I already posted on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna leave the um, playlist down below, so make sure that you check it out. All the tabs are available on my Patreon page, so thank you so much to all the people who support me there. I'm gonna leave you to practice this, take your time, take it step by step, and I'll see you next time for another lesson.